Hi, this is Diogenes Lamp, and you're back watching one of my awesome, or not so awesome, Porsche 911 CV joint assembly video, or attempt to. We're not going to totally assemble it because you're going to get to figure that out yourself, but I'm going to show you a couple tips that will save you, maybe. Okay, so when you go to take the the, uh, the CV joint off the shaft initially, what you want to do is you want to get like a scribe, like one of these, a scribe, and then you scribe like I did like on this one, O for outer. And then on this one, where it is, where is it? Where is it? There's O for outer right there. I scribbled it right there. Now, keep in mind, then you would put on the other one, I, an I for inner on the, on the inner one, obviously, so that you, you don't mix these two up. Okay. Now, also, you could, you could look at this line. See this line on here? This line faces either closest to the, to the wheel, where the wheel would be right here, or it would go this way if it's the, uh, the other CV joint where the transmission's right here. So you want this line close to, closest to that. So you got that part down. So this obviously is, if you look at this, this, this side is the side that you, when you disconnect it from the car that you will see, because that's where I immediately wrote my O. So I would know that this is the outer side. And also it's the outer CV joint as opposed to the inner. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing is this little gadget, which is angled like a spring, goes on this way and goes all the way down. I actually was a dude that didn't know which way it went, but it goes facing with the, with the, let's see, the, the facing, there it is. So it's like a cone this way on the shaft. See like a cone like that, like V. So it actually presses and you can see it's like coned upwards, sort of. So yeah, so that's what you wanted the, the outer the outer dimension to be further than the inner dimension on the shaft. Okay, so that's the story with that because a couple guys had trouble with that. All right, this gadget, being the fact that this is the outer, if you didn't mark it, look at the beveled edge here. That means that the beveled edge goes on the outside, which is where the, the circle clip goes. And you know, basically then this side, if you forget, you could look to see where this ring was rubbing. See, see the line where the where the ring was rubbing. Then you then you know that step that definitely was was down in this area, rubbing against there. So if you didn't mark this, that that'll help you determine this where that goes, that it goes on the shaft this way, because it was rubbing against that that piece that was on there. All right, so that's another thing. Now the third thing is what really got me, is this gadget. All right, now this is directional. This thing, okay. You have, if you look at it closely, you have a, a, a flat side, okay? And then you have a, like a thinner beveled side. Like this is thin, you see the edge of that? I don't know if you can see the edge of that so good. Let's try to angle a little bit more. But it's it's thinner in, in this, in this, whoop. Let's see, I'll use a chopstick, I like chopsticks because they work great for applying stuff. Okay, so there's that, that's a thin edge at the very top edge with a little bevel right here. And this side does not have that. Okay, that does not have, this is flat. All right, so the flat side, when you put this, the joint together, you wanna see the flat side. You want that flat side towards you. You want that skinny bevel. And the theory on the skinny bevel is so that when this thing is on the shaft, it could, it could turn tighter or whatever. So the thin bevel, the beveled edge, which is right there, you could see the bevel, that goes towards the, onto the shaft. So you will see the flat side when you, so basically what you'll see is you'll see, you'll see this, this edge will be facing up because it's gonna go towards, this is gonna bolt, like this side's gonna bolt towards the trans or this side's gonna bolt toward on, or closest to the wheel. This, you're gonna see the beveled edge in here, which you see this side's flat, that, that side has no beveled edge on the very edge of those grooves. This side does, so that beveled edge is gonna be up. You're gonna be looking at that, that's where the circle clip goes. And then this bad boy, again, you got your, your, your beveled side that's beveled in, and you got your flat side. The flat side is gonna be facing you when the, when the job is assembled and you're staring at the shaft fully assembled like this, but with a, with a CV joint on it. Anyway, that's, and then there's one last little thing. When you assemble this bad boy, you know, you, you, you put, you know, obviously it's all together. You have to make sure that the, that the small matches the large and the large matches the small, and the small matches the large. 
and, then, and it's got to be like that. See the fat, fat circumference here and the thin there? It's got to be like that because if you put it in this way, the sucker will lock up. Like if you got the, the small meat and the small like that, it'll lock up on you. Anyway, and then you just you just push the balls in and, and you know, with the, with this, and you line that up and you just turn it and angle it. That's the easy part, putting that other part together. So I'm not going to show you that. You can see other guys slap those in. But the part that was really pulling my leg was was with this bevel, the thin bevel and the flat bevel. I couldn't figure out, and I watched a lot of videos. I couldn't figure out how to do that. So finally, I I finally did a bunch of research, and yes, the the thinner the thinner looking side goes towards the shaft, as I had mentioned. Anyway, this is Diogenes' lamp. I hope I didn't repeat myself too many times, but I wanted to make sure that you got it. Um. And then basically the shaft also has some odd markings on it. It has, it has this dot here and it has this green dot over here. Uh, and I'm thinking that's for, you know, for one side or the other, basically they look the same. But I think that this side, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna swear to it, but I think this side was towards the wheel. I didn't mark that, but uh, anywho, hopefully it, uh, that part works out. I think I'll be fine. Anyway, have a great night and uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe comment, thumbs up, would be appreciated.